Hey guys, it's Shannon and I'm back with another video. This one is a get ready with me casual makeup look. I'm on my way to work, so I'm trying to I'm going to try to edit this for you guys and post it by tonight. It's Saturday today currently. So if you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe and make sure you turn on your bell your bell notifications so you could get notified every time I post and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram at N N A N A T I O N. It's gonna be in the link, so make sure you guys follow me and to see when I'm what I'm doing, my everyday life, when I'm posting. This is not an everyday look for me. This is just a casual look for me, and I hope you guys do like it. And this is this is something you can follow along to. Honestly, it's so simple. So yeah, I hope you guys do like it. And if you guys want to see how I did this look, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm editing the video right now, and I just noticed that it's way too long. So I did cut off the beginning part, and I jumped straight into my lashes. I already did my, I did my eyebrows and my um, eyeshadow off camera, so I'll just do another separate video of my eyebrows, and I'll do eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow for you guys whenever, you know, like, I'll do some exaggerating looks and all so yeah i just jumped straight into the lashes so it wouldn't be that long because my videos have been getting long so yeah okay so the lashes that i'm wearing are the kiss lashes they're the blowout ones they come like this inside i mean not with these these are different ones but i just stacked them in twos as you guys could tell i don't know if you guys can but this one I wore alone and I didn't like it. That's why I was like, maybe I should try stacking them up. So I did stack them up and they look so much better, like honestly. Because I don't really like that. I like kind of a dramatic but not too dramatic look. So as you guys can tell, you know. So this kind of looks good or whatever. So now I'm going to prime my face with the Pore Professional Benefit Pore, Pore Primer. And this one I didn't like before because it would make me more oily and everything, but it's pretty good. I just put it around my T-zone. Okay, so that's that. And today I'm going to be using this one is my go-to. That's what I would say. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. It's super bomb, and for oily girls, it's definitely good for you guys. I mean, not if you're in between, because honestly, it'll get you really dry if you ha already have a dry face. Because sometimes when I do get dry, it's not good for me because it'll get into my cracks, you know? So I'll be right back. I'm going to go wash my beauty blender. I'm back. But I will just put it on the bottom of the butt. Like, literally, like this much it's all like I feel like a hella like I'm like just this much you know just the, just two drops <laughs> I'm fucking okay so and you want to make sure that with this foundation you want to make sure that you get your neck because if you don't you could definitely tell Okay, so I have, to, I have to put some more because I think it just soaked all into my beauty blender. Okay, now I will go in with my Tarte Concealer. And I will just put it on the base, the basics. Okay, so that's how I conceal. And I'll just let it, I'll just let these two sit for a while, not these, because it's not really that important. Because if you let it sit, I guess it's just, like, I don't know. It's just better. It just comes off better when you let it sit. So sometimes when I do let them sit, I do use the LA Girl Pro Concealer. But not all the time because I already have a contour that is already pigmented, like really pigmented. So it wouldn't really matter because the old, um, the MAC one, I used the MAC one and it wasn't that pigmented, but it was good. 
but I always had to use the LA Pro Concealer, so it was just like, this one is bomb, like, I'll show you guys right now. You want to just go in and make sure you get your tear duct because sometimes people, a lot of people miss that. The powder I am using today is the Kat Von D Translucent Powder. It's really good. It's like a dupe of the Laura Mercier, but the Laura Mercier is kind of more thinner, but it still works as good, you know? And plus with me, I don't really use a lot of powder. I don't know why, but I will just, okay, so there's always excess on here, so I just put my brush. I'm going in with the Morphe R5 brush. It looks like this. It's a rose gold collection. Put it on my under my eyes because under my eyes will get really oily like as you can tell like this I didn't even say yet this I did set so I don't like a glossy look if anything I like a matte look you know okay so I just put it around where I put my concealers and I'll go in with the real techniques the big one the blush brush and I'll just dab a little bit in like that and I'll just I don't even know what I'm saying there but I'll go and then I'll just put it on the rest of my face and that's it for right now so I'm going in with my MAC oh no not my MAC it's a bare mineral flawless face brush looks like this and with my makeup geek this is a bomb like this one's the one I'm talking about oh it's backwards <laughs> this one is the makeup geek by makeup geek this one's in Twani medium skin bronzer by makeup geek it's really bomb like you guys should really get it I bought it at Target at first I thought it wasn't gonna be that good but I heard makeup geek is really good so like I want to try the eyeshadows too like if this is pigmented trust me the eyeshadows will be really pigmented like for real see I didn't even have to put a lot I literally just dab it like this like you see I've been having this for like I think almost a month now I think almost a month and like it's so bomb so I would just go in to where I would usually contour which is my cheekbones and my forehead a little bit only because my forehead is really darker and it's not that big so I wouldn't really have to like I have a three head so I re wouldn't really have to contour it because if you have a no offense but if you have a big head like you definitely need to contour it like <laughs> it's just a must <laughs> but that's if you want like I don't know it still looks good no matter how you do it so, so with the axis I'll just go on my with my double chin because I do have a little bit <laughs> just kidding Okay, so I'll go back in with the um, translucent powder and I'll just go in with my beauty blender on the side I didn't use and I'll just shape it. And just pat it in. Okay, so I always have different techniques of like doing my whole face so like it doesn't really matter like how I do it kind of like I just do it because I feel like all the ways work but it just depends on you I guess so I will do my under eyes now using the dose um, the dose of colors uh, brush it came in this little this little um, this is so pretty but it's the sassy the sassy sienna's palette so i'm going back in with mocha and i'll just use that on the thicker i'm going in with pookie on this side of the brush and just blending that out so it could look seamlessly not just like a harsh line so now my eyes are done I sometimes put on mascara on the bottom but sometimes I don't like to because I don't really have long lashes anyway so why would it matter you know now I'm going to go in with blush and before I didn't like blush at all like I wouldn't put on blush but I love blush like it makes it just makes the look come all together like I'm using the Becca flower child blush 
and I'm using a little BH Cosmetics brush. It's in 36. It came like in a package and everything, but okay, so I'm doing this. Okay, see, can you guys tell? Like, it's just, it has a little glow in it, so yeah. So I'm going to be using my Morphe. Yeah, it's gone. So it's a Morphe brush. It just looks like this. I think it's an eyeshadow brush, but it, it's really big. So like you could just use your highlighter because I don't like using a big highlighting brush. And I'm going in with the Glow Kit Anastasia, the sugar, the sugar collection, the sugar one. And I did trade my sister for her because um, she got the, the bronzer one. I don't know what that one was called. I forgot. But hers, she traded me this one for the wider one. So, and I don't really care for highlighting anymore. So I'm just going to go in with all of them. And just do a little bit because then I'm not really going out. So it doesn't really matter. So I'm just putting a little bit. My cupid's bow, my nose. And my eyes. Okay, I'll go in with lipstick so you guys can tell which lipstick I'm wearing. This is my all-time favorite lip combo, Kylie Jenner. It's in brown sugar. It is bomb. Like my the lip um the lip liner I have to sharpen, so I always use the just a liquid lipstick. But I just go over my lips. That's done. I kind of look crazy, but I do go in with the Anastasia Peachy Matte Lipstick. It looks like this. It is so bomb, guys. Like, honestly, like it. I'm doing my whole lips. And then patting it out with my hands. Okay, so I have to go do my hair and I have to go put on what I'm aware. So sometimes I do um, spray my face with the All Nighter setting spray. This is bomb. This is the only setting spray I really like. The Marble Desco is alright, but that's really for a before you do your makeup. So it doesn't really matter to me. And I don't think I need to spray my face today because sometimes I don't spray it. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, all the beauty gurus be using their setting sprays and all. But, girl, I don't got nowhere spe special to go. So, it won't really matter. I'm so low. So, it, so it doesn't really matter that I'm not going to use it. So, I'm not going to waste it, you know. Like, you see me? No, because this actually goes, like, this actually just... This will last you, honestly, like two months if you use it every single day. But, yeah. I just use it whenever I go out or whenever, like, I'm going to be out in the sun for a really long time. Today, I'm just going to be inside, so it doesn't, it wouldn't really matter. So, yeah, my face is still really good. It doesn't look cakey or nothing because I don't really put on a lot of makeup. Like, it looks like, I mean, I put on everything, but trust me, like, my face does not look cakey. It looks good, you know? So that's a really a perk for me. And look at my shirt. It's so cute, huh? I have another one, but this one I really like. The other one I kind of like more, but this one is like, I just sleep in this. Like, little do y'all know, I was wearing a, a no bra in this video. No, I'm just <laughs> But okay. Yeah. So, okay, guys. So now I'm completely done. I hope you guys did like it. If you guys want to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications. Um, I'm not. I'm going on my way. I'm on my way to work in a little bit. So, yeah. But I hope you guys do like it. This is the finished look. And yeah, just a casual, simple look. But yes. So I will see you guys in my next video.